Hello friends, welcome to N Universe Double Two. In this video, we will discuss about continuity equation in three dimensionals in Cartesian coordinates. So there are basically three Cartesian coordinates, uh, x, y, and z. These are three direction: x direction, y direction, and z direction. So firstly, consider a rectangular fluid element of dimensions or length. dx dy and dz in the direction of x y and z so here we can see this is the stream line in which fluid is flowing and this is a rectangular fluid element that we have considered and we plot this its enlarged view here and this is the rectangular fluid element and this is the dx this is the length in x direction and this is y dy this is in y direction and this is dz in z direction these are the dimensions of this rectangular fluid element and for the sake of convenience dx dy and dz have been taken parallel to x y and z axis respectively as we can see in the diagram dx that is parallel to x dy that is parallel to y and dz that is parallel to z here we can see dx dy dz these are in x y and z axis respectively so let u small u represent the velocity of fluid flow at the left hand face a b c d so here we mention here a b c d this is the left hand face and through which fluid is flowing with velocity u small u and since the area of this face can be made arbitrarily small and velocity u may be assumed uniform over the entire surface of x axis and the rate of change is given by curly u upon curly x so in the beginning a b c d uh, phase here we have u velocity and when there is a continuously or uniform flow throughout the phase so u that remains constant it is it is flowing but there is some additional rate change of flow that is curly u upon curly x and here we can see at the end of this phase e f g h this is u plus curly u upon curly x into dx so here here we can see change of velocity through distance dx will be curly u upon curly x into dx so it is the change of velocity and u remains constant through entire surface thus velocity of fluid motion at surface e f g h a distance dx apart from surface a b c d will be u plus curly u upon curly x dx here we can see this is the face a b c d and at a distance dx apart here is another face e f g h and at the outlet of this face the velocity is u plus curly u upon curly x into dx so let u v and w are the inlet velocity components in direction of x y and z respectively so here we can see in the diagram u this is the velocity component in x direction v this is the velocity component in y direction and w is the velocity component in z direction so firstly we consider the velocity component y in x direction so mass of fluid entering the phase a b c d along x direction per second so this is the mass flow rate and as we know mass flow rate that is the product of rho density into velocity in x direction into area of a b c d and m that is equal to rho a v so from here rho is the density velocity in x direction that is u area of a b c d so this is the area a b c d this is dy this is dz so area becomes dy into dz so finally we get rho into u into dy into dz then mass of fluid leaving the face ef gh per second so that is equal to curly uh, rho u dy dz plus curly upon curly x rho u dy dz into dx as we know this is the velocity and uh, this u is the velocity and this is the uh, change of velocity and finally when we are talking about the mass of fluid leaving the face per second so that is rho av this is rho 
this is area this is velocity and similarly in the same case so now we need to calculate gain of mass in x direction what is the gain of mass in x direction so that is the difference between mass through abcd phase minus mass through efgs per second so this is the difference of mass flow rate so in mass through abcd that is rho u dy into dz minus mass through efgh phase that is this value so that is minus rho u dy into dz minus curly upon curly x into rho u dy dz dx so these are the common factors which are cancelled out and finally we get minus curly upon curly x rho u dy dz into dx and from here we separate these parameter outside the bracket minus curly upon curly x rho u dx dy dz so this is dx dy dz these are the constant parameter and so this is the gain of mass in x direction similarly we can get this value in y and z direction respectively similarly the net gain of mass per unit time in y direction so curly upon curly y there is y instead of x curly into v here is the u this is here is the v this is the velocity component in y direction and it remains same dx dy dz similarly in z direction minus curly upon curly z rho into w w is the velocity component in z direction dx dy dz therefore net gain of mass per unit time within the element so separately we have to calculate all these mass flow rate in x y and z direction now we need to get net gain of mass per unit time so that is the sum of all these mass flow rate so that is minus curly upon curly x into rho u this is in x direction plus curly upon curly y into rho v y direction plus curly upon curly z rho w that is in z direction and dx dy dz this is the common factor in all these equations and this is the equation 1 now as we know mass is neither created nor destroyed in fluid element the net increase of mass per unit time in the fluid element must be equal to the rate of increase of mass of fluid in the element so we can say this value that is also equal to the mass flow rate per unit time so firstly we need to get the mass flow rate per unit time so here we can see mass of fluid element that is rho dx dy dz that is rho dv we can say rho dv this is the per, rho into v that is the volume because uh, density that is mass upon volume and finally mass equal to rho into volume and its rate of increase with respect to time that is curly upon curly t rho dx dy dz or rho dv curly upon curly t rho, rho dv so finally we get curly rho upon curly t dx dy dz or curly rho upon curly t dv this is equation 2 now we can equate equation 1 and 2 equation equate equation 1 and 2 represent the same quantity hence equating both equations so finally this is equation 1 and that is equal to equation 2 and dx dy dz these are the common parameters these are cancelled out and finally what we get we take this value here and that becomes equal to 0 curly rho upon curly t plus curly upon curly x rho u plus curly upon curly y rho v plus curly upon curly z rho w that is equal to 0 this is equation 3 and this equation 3 is the continuity equation in Cartesian coordinate this equation this is the Cartesian continuity equation in Cartesian coordinate in x y and z direction and in its most general form this equation is applicable to steady and unsteady flow uniform and non-uniform flow compressible and incompressible flow so firstly I take the example of for steady flow in case of steady flow curly rho upon curly t that becomes equal to 0 if this parameter becomes equal to 0 then equation 3 that becomes curly upon curly x rho u plus curly upon curly y rho v plus curly upon curly z rho w equal to 0 if fluid is incompressible and steady flow then rho is uh, constant if this is the condition then curly rho upon curly t equal to 0 then this above equation becomes uh, the rho that is got uh, cancelled out because it is constant curly u upon curly x plus curly upon u upon curly y plus curly w upon curly z that, that is equal to 0 this is equation 5 and this is the continuity equation in 3 dimensional and equation 5 is the continuity equation in 3 dimensional and is applicable only for steady state and 
इनकम्प्रेसिबल फ्लूड फ्लो इफ डब्ल्यू इक्वल टू जीरो इक्वेशन फाइव रिड्यूस टू करली अपॉन करली एक्स प्लस करली वी अपॉन करली वाई इक्वल टू जीरो दिस इज इक्वेशन सिक्स एंड दिस इक्वेशन सिक्स इज द कंटिन्यूटी इक्वेशन इन टू डायमेंशन इफ डब्ल्यू इक्वल टू वी इक्वल टू जीरो दैन इक्वेशन सिक्स रिड्यूस टू करली अपॉन करली एक्स दैट इज इक्वल टू जीरो दिस इज इक्वेशन सेवन एंड दिस इज फॉर कंटिन्यूटी इक्वेशन इन वन डायमेंशन इफ इंटीग्रेट विद रिस्पेक्ट टू एस दैन करली रो इन टू यू इक्वल टू कॉन्स्टेंट दैट इज फॉर कंप्रेसिबल फ्लो एंड यू दैट इज इक्वल टू कॉन्स्टेंट दैट इज फॉर incompressible flow so friends in this video we have learned to how to prove and how to calculate how to prove the continuity equation in cartesian coordinates and uh, if you like this video please share with your friends and students and don't forget to subscribe and universe double to for getting the notification for uploading of videos on various topic of mechanical engineering thanks for watching have a nice day